Okay, hello everyone. This is KC from WebBuddy. So in this short tutorial video, I'm going to share with you a workaround on one of the most commonly faced uh, challenge when you are using WordPress Gutenberg Editor. Uh, because while you are using this Gutenberg Editor, uh, very likely you will want to insert the image at the side of a certain paragraph, sort of like left align the picture and the text will float nicely on the right side of the image unfortunately for the original Gutenberg when you do this it is not quite possible to do it nicely okay so for example if the best way you can do is that you can insert a media and text block so let me show you an example So this is by default, this is a default block that you can find in uh, Gutenberg. So if let's say you insert the image, for example, this one, click select, and it will become very big. Okay, so if let's say you want to copy some wording and paste it at the side, it is not quite nice. Of course, you can change the width so let us reduce the width to 15 perhaps okay so uh, this is how it looks like so when we save and then we go back to the we can do a preview so this is how it looks and you can possibly edit the margin here or the text over here nicely so it kind of like a weird uh, layout of course, if you don't mind such a layout, you can use this media and text block. So if you want a better effect, what you can do is that you can install a plugin. And the plugin is called Spectra. This Spectra will help you to add in more ability to the default Gutenberg editor. Okay, so you just need to go to plugin, add new plugin, search for Spectra and click. Uh, install and activate so after you have activated spectra plugin so let me show you what you can do so let us remove all this and remove this okay so now again the same thing i would like to add an image on the left side here so what i will do is that i can add a block after so this block i can search for image block so now you notice that there are two image blocks so this image block is the default gutenberg image block and this one is spectra so how to see a difference is that you can see that there's a dot here so assuming uh, this is the sun so the one with a dot is the spectra enabled image so use this click on this one go to media library search for a picture and click select so you can see that by default the image is aligned center so after uh, i'm sure that you wouldn't want it to align center so what you can do is that you can click this align and click align left so now you can see that the image and the wording is aligned nicely with the good use of spectra image uh, block okay so you can save and what's even better is that if you click on this image then you scroll down there is some effects that you can do you can do a mask effect so you can do make the corner round okay or you can make it a circle or for me i just put it none and for the style you can adjust the margin as well no issue on that if you go to advanced you can do animation so for example i want it to zoom in so that's what it does so i save so let's preview the result so now i scroll down you can see that the image appear nicely over here okay so that's a workaround for you to insert the image either on the left or on the right 
of the uh, content if you are using the default Gutenberg just go and install the spectra plugin it's free to use and it's give you it will also give you a lot of other useful plugin so i hope that this video is useful for you to insert image nicely into your content if you have any questions feel free to post in the description questions area below thank you